kayo, ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon ay tungkol sa multiplication of decimals. Pero bago yan, meron muna ako ipapanood sa inyong video. So let's have 2,486 times 74. So this is called multiply. And this is the multiply. So multiply natin si multiply by the multiply. So 4 times 6, 24, 3 up 2. 4 times 8, 32, plus 2, 34. 4 times 4, 16, plus 3, 19. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So before we proceed to 7, cancel out na natin yung mga carry ups. Parang hindi tayo nalilito. Next is 7 times 6, 42. So maglilip tayo dito ng isang space. 7 times 8, 56, plus 4, 60. 7 times 4, 28, plus 6, 38, 4. 7 times 2, 14, plus 3, 17. Partial products. So, bago tayo mag-add ng partial products, nalagyan natin ng zero yung mga bakante. Tayo hindi tayo nalilipas sa pag-add. And then, kailangan yung mga numbers ay align sa isa't isa. So, 4 plus 0, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. 9 plus 0 is 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. Kaya, 1. 1 plus 0 plus 7 is 8. 0 plus 1 is 1. So, this is our final product. 183,964. Our lesson for today is about multiplication of decimals. Sa napanood niyang video, ito ay tungkol sa multiplication of whole numbers. Ito ay related sa ating lesson ngayon. So, multiplying decimals by whole numbers. The first one is ignore the decimal point and multiply as if they are whole numbers. So, ignore it means huwag natin pansinip or mag-pretend tayo na wala tayong nakikitang decimal point. And then, we're going to multiply as if they are whole numbers gaya sa video na napanood niyo kanina. The next one is the number of decimal places in the product is the number of places in the factors. So, kung ilan yung decimal places na nasa factors, ganun din yung decimal places na nasa product or final product. Then, the last one is count the number of decimal places from right to left. So, we're going to put decimal point from right going to left ang ating pagbibilang. So, first example is 24.86 times 12. So, mag-start tayo dito sa number 2. 2 times 6 is 12, carry up 1. 2 times 8, 16, plus 1, 17, carry up 1. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1, is 9. 2 times 2 is 4. So, bago tayo mag-proceed sa number 1, cross out muna natin yung mga carry ups. Okay, 1 times 6 is 6. Maglagay tayo ng space dito. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. Then, add the products. So, ito ang ating multiplier. So, kung ilan ang digits ng ating multiplier, ganun din yung bilang ng ating partial product. So, dahil 2 digits ang ating multiplier, so, dalawang row din yung ating partial product. Bago tayo mag-add, lagyan natin ng zeros yung mga vacant. And then, let's add 2 plus 0 is 2, 7 plus 6 is 13, carry up 1, 8 plus 9 plus 1 is 18, carry up 1, 4 plus 4 plus 1 is 9, 0 plus 2 is 2. So, next step is, ibilangin natin yung decimal number na nasa factors. So, we have 1, 2. So, meron tayong dalawang decimal numbers. So, sabi dito, count the number of decimal places from right to left. So, mag-start tayo sa right. Then, we have two decimal numbers. So, one, two. So, our answer is 298.32 or 298 and 32 hundredths. So, let's have another example. 
So, 80.675 times 37. 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 7 is 49. Plus 3, 52. 7 times 6, 42. Plus 5, 47. 7 times 0 is 0. Plus 4 is 4. 7 times 6, uh, 7 times 8 is 56. And then, leave one space or write 0. Then, cancel lahat na carry-ups. 3 times 5 is 15, carry-up 1. 3 times 7, 21. Plus 1, 22. 3 times 6 is 18, plus 2 is 20. 3 times 0 is 0, plus 2, 2. Then, 3 times 8 is 24. So, bago mag-add ng partial products, lagyan mo na ng 0 yung mga bakante. So, 5 plus 0 is 5. 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. 4 plus 0 is 4. 6 plus 2 is 8. 5 plus 4 is 9. 0 plus 2 is 2. So, to put decimal point, we're going to count how many decimal numbers are there in the factors. So, 1, 2, 3. From right to left. 1, 2, 3. So, our answer is 2,984 and 975,000. Our last example is 11.96 times 421. So, our multiplier has 3 digits. So, expect natin na meron tayong tatlong rows ng partial products. So, 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 9 is 9. 1 times 1, 1. 1 times 1, 1. Next, put 1, 0. 2 times 6 is 12. Carry up 1. 2 times 9 is 18, plus 1, 19. Carry up, 1. 2 times 1 is 1, plus 1, 3. 2 times 1 is 2. Next multiplier, we're going to add 2 zeros. So, cancel muna natin yung mga number na nasa itas. Para hindi tayo malito. So, 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 9 is 36, plus 2 is 38. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3, 7. 4 times 1 is 4. So, meron tayong 3 digits na multiplier. Meron tayong tatlong row ng partial product. So, bago tayo mag-add ng partial product, lagyan mo natin ng zeros yung mga bakante. Pwede nyo namang hindi lagyan. Pero kasi kapag meron siyang mga zeros or mas organized siyang tingnan. And then hindi kayo malilito kapag kayo ay nag -aad. So kailangan yung mga numbers natin ay align. So 6, 9 plus 2 is 11, carry up 1. 4 plus 9 plus 1 plus 1. So kapag ganito, make 10. So 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 4, 14, plus 1, 15. 8 plus 3, 11, plus 1, plus 1, 13, carry up 1, 7 plus 2, 9, plus 1, 10, 4 plus 0, plus 0, plus 1 is 5. So next, we're going to count how many decimal numbers ang nasa factor. So meron tayong 2 decimal numbers. So from right to left, Magbibilan tayo ng dalawa. 1, 2. So, our final answer or final product is 5,035.16 or 5,035.1600. So, let's remember, in multiplying decimal by whole numbers, ignore decimal point. Huwag niyong intindihin yung decimal point. Mag-multiply lang tayo. Katulad ng pag-multiply natin sa whole numbers. And then, we're going to count how many decimal numbers ang nasa factors. Kung ilan yung decimal number na nasa factor, ganun din yung decimal number na nasa product. So, kapag maglalagay tayo ng decimal point, 
It is from right to left. Kung ilan yung decimal number na nasa factor, ganun din yung number na iuso nyo from right to left. In multiplying decimal by another decimal, same procedure lang ang gagawin tulad ng pagmumultiply ng decimal sa whole number. So, ignore na decimal point and multiply as if they are whole numbers. The number of decimal places in the product is the number of places in the factors. And then, count the number of decimal places from right to left. Our first example is 6.23 times 1.4. So 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1, 9. 4 times 6 is 24. The next is cross out, add 0. 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 6 is 6. And then add, add the partial products. 2, 12, 7, 8. So next step is to count how many decimal numbers na nasa factors. 1. 2, 3. So, from right to left, 3 moves. 1, 2, 3. So, the answer is 8.722 or 8 and 722 thousands. Let's try another example. Sixteen point forty nine times three point five. So five times nine is forty five. Five times four is twenty plus four twenty four. Five times six is thirty plus two thirty two. Five times one plus three eight. Then zero. Cross out. 3 times 9, 27. 3 times 4, 12 plus 2, 14. 3 times, carry up 1. 3 times 6, 18 plus 1, 19. 3 times 1 plus 1, 4. Then, we end 0. So, 5 plus 0 is 5. 4 plus 7, 11. 6, 7. 17.5 So, meron tayong tatlong decimal numbers sa factors. Kaya, tatlong uso din from right to left. 1, 2, 57.715 or 57 and 715,000. Last example. Twenty-six point twelve times eighteen point three. So three times two is six. Three times one is three. Three times six eighteen. Carry up one. Three times two six plus one seven. Add one zero. Cross out. Eight times two sixteen. Eight times one plus one nine. Eight times six forty-eight. 8 times 2, 16, plus 4, 20. And then, cross out. Bago tayo mag-next dito sa pangatlong digit sa multiplier, mag-add tayo ng 2 zeros. Then, dahil 1 yun, copy nyo na yung space. 2, 1, 6, 2. So, put zeros here. Then, add ng partial products. 6, 3 plus 6 is 9, 8 plus 9, 17 plus 2, 19. Then, 8 plus 1 plus 1 is 10 plus 7 is 17. 7, 4. Okay, how many decimal numbers 
So, meron tayong tatlo. 1, 2, 3, 477, and 996,000s. So, now, multiplication by powers of 10. So, in multiplying by 10, 100, or 1,000, and we're going to count the number of zeros. So, sa 10, meron tayong isa, 100, dalawa, so 1,000, tatlo, and so on. And then, move the decimal point to the right. So, kapag 10, 100, 1,000, count the number of zeros, and then the decimal point, kailangan siya mag-move uh, to the right. Punta dito. And then, kapag 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, count the number of decimal places in the tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on. So, so 0 0.1, meron tayong isa. 0 0.01, dalawa. 0 0.001, tatlo. And then, move the decimal point to the left. So, papunta naman doon. So, again, in 10, 100, 1,000, count the number of zeros. Move the decimal point to the right. And 0 0.01, 0 0.001, count the number of decimal places in tens, hundreds, thousands, and then move the decimal point to the left. So let's answer this. So 123.456 times 10. So we're going to count how many zero. So meron siyang isa. Then move the decimal point to the right. So to the right. So, the is 1,234.56. Next, 123.456 times 100. Count the number of zeros. So, meron dalawa. So, 12,345.6. X is 123.456 times 1,000. So, meron siyang tatlong zero. So, the answer is 123,456. Next, 123.456 times 0 0.1. So, meron siyang isang decimal number. Ang decimal point nito ay papunta sa left. So, magiging 12.3456 Next, 123.456 times 0 0.01. Meron siyang dalawang decimal number. So, dalawang usod papunta sa kaliwa. So, 1.23456. Then, the last one is 123.456 times 0 0.001. So, meron siyang tatlong decimal number. Tatlong usod papunta sa kaliwa. So, lalagyan natin siya ng 0 dito. Para malaman natin na wala na siyang whole number. So again, multiplying powers of 10, you're going to count the number of zeros. Kapag nabilang yun yung bilang ng zero, move the decimal point to the right. Pag naman 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, count the number of decimal place or decimal number. And then move the decimal point to the left, sa kaliwa.